Hi everybody, welcome to Julia in the Garden. So it's still been a little bit chilly here in Vermont.、Um, I've been working outside, but this week has just not been as productive as the week before.、Um, it's been a pretty cold wind. We have a pretty windy property, and in like the low to mid 40s is a high. So most of the days still like in the 30s, low 40s, and it's just a little cold for me to be doing a lot of work, especially with the baby on my back. You gonna say hi? However, I'm still getting a lot done inside. So what I thought I'd do today is give you a tour of my seedlings, so you can meet them and see how they're doing.、Um, there's a few that are outside that we'll go meet as well, but I'm going to start with my shelves inside here. So here we are.、Uh, this is my front entryway, actually. My front door is here, <laughs> and、um, we mostly come in through the. Breezeway and the mudroom, so this door doesn't get a whole lot of as much use.、Um, so this seems to be a good use of my space.、Um, I had this shelf last year, and I got this new one this year set up. And these are LED shop lights that are linkable.、Um, that were, they were recommended by the Rusted Gardener. I will link him below. I got them last year,、um, and they've been working well for me. I、um, have more than doubled the amount of, of Seedling space I'm using this year, and I still have more to start.、Um, but I will tell you more about it as we go. I will start with this shelf here. That's、um, it's actually made of plastic. It's a shelf we got years ago for storage that I I'm using now for this. Everything here has plenty of space right now. When I bring in the things that are outside, I do have to turn most things sideways. So there's three on a shelf.、Um, but let me show you what I've got going on here. On the top here, this entire tray. Is snapdragons. Now filming this is a little weird. the The lights do weird things, so we'll see how I can do this.、Um, so yeah, these are the snapdragons. There are, let's see, I've got apple blossom, which is like a peachy pink color. The rose, which is a pink. Lion's mouth, which is a shorter mix.、Um, I think there's more apple blossom over on the right hand side. I've been shuffling them around a little bit because、um, when I turn them sideways, the ones on the end. Curl in, reaching towards the light, which you can kind of see a little bit there. So I try to move them around to、um, account for that. Okay, and actually, I think these some of these need to be pinched off. So I'm going to work on that this week. I'm、um, I've watered them all. I made sure they were all watered as needed this morning,、um, and obviously put the ones outside. But a lot of potting up needs to be done over the next week or two. And、these are something that definitely needs to be potted up. These are nasturtium. I love these; they're so cool.、Um, and when they flower, they're even cooler. So I've got several kinds here. I've got、um, let's see, black nasturtium. I've got one、um, six-cell tray of that, and that's actually for my son for his garden.、Um, there's some bloody mary nasturtiums from Baker's Creek, the orchid cream, and King Theodore, which is red. And then Yeti, which is like a light yellow cream color.、Um, so, yeah, those are all mine.、Uh, I didn't have a hundred percent germination, especially on the Yeti. Those were a year old. So,、um, but I'm perfectly happy with what I've got there. And over here in the corner, we have some bells of Ireland. See if I can get a better shot here. They're going to be a green flower, which is going to be cool. This is a tray full of tomatoes. Well, okay, mostly tomatoes. Over here, we've got marigold in the back, and ground cherries in the front. They were planted maybe a week after the tomatoes, so they took a little longer to germinate. These were on a heat mat until recently.、Um, once all the tomatoes germinated, I pulled them off because I needed to be able to turn them sideways and have more space.、Um, let's see, we've got lots of different kinds of tomato here. We've got Amish paste in the front, Marzano fire in the back. Those are my Paste tomatoes,、uh, purple Russian, Beta Lux, Brad's Atomic, and Chadwick Cherry in the back there. Sunrise Bumblebee,、um, purple Bumblebee in the front, and blueberries and creamberries in the back. Those are all、um, cherry-sized tomatoes that are super cool.、Uh, Paul Robeson here in the front, Cherokee Purple in the back. Those are new ones I'm trying. I'm so excited about. And then we got Black Vernissage in the front and Dr. Weiches. Don't know if I'm saying that right. In the back. Um, and those are some of our favorites from last year. So, this is a lot of tomato seedlings. I do, <laughs> I won't. I probably won't be using all of them. I'm gonna pot up as many as I can soon. I think in the next week or two, they've got their true leaves now. I was looking at the bottom.、Um, I haven't even thinned them at all. So, 
I'm not sure if I'm just going to, well, I think it just depends on how many I have. I might try to separate some into different cups. We'll see how it works, how it works out. Um, but yeah, I do want to talk about these tags for a minute. You can see they're disintegrating. You see, I ordered these um, plastic label things. Um, I don't love using a ton of plastic, but um, last year I found my tags all disintegrated and then I didn't know what some things were. So I ordered some of those, but I only ordered a hundred and apparently it wasn't thinking about how much I was planting. So I did order some more. I believe my new labels are in this box that just came earlier today. That is, that's like my quarantine spot. So I'm going to give it a day or two before I open it. I like put it there and then wash my hands and all the doorknobs and everything. And then, um, I'll open it tomorrow. And if there's plastic, I'll disinfect it as I go. Anyway, gardening in coronavirus times. But I didn't want to wait for the labels to plant things. So I did cut up some cardboard, um, or this is like a pretty thin cardboard, to use as labels temporarily. And then um, I will replace these tags with the plastic ones. And actually, since these need to be potted up, I use cups, which I'll show you next time. And I just write right on the cups. So I might not even need labels for these ones once they're potted. Moving to the left, um, these are eggplants. Uh, there are two different kinds of eggplants. Let's see if I can find two different ones. So like I was just saying, um, I use these red solar cups. I, again, I don't love using plastic, but um, these were in my house from when we moved in. My in-laws had bought them um, to help us when we moved in um, and I didn't use them then, but I figured instead of buying a whole lot of pots or trying to make my own, I would just, I just drilled a hole in the bottom and I reused them. Um, I didn't use all of them last year, so there's some new ones. This is eggplant pink tongue, by the way. So I re and then I try to reuse them every year. So there's some that are labeled from last year for my tomatoes that I'm going to try to reuse for the same tomatoes. They've all been washed with soap and water and um, uh, vinegar, and then so like let sit in a vinegar solution and washed off again. So hopefully that'll be fine. Um, let's see. Oh, see, this one looks like it was used last year. This is, oh, this is the other kind of eggplant, Listata de Gandia. So I believe this whole tray is eggplant, and they are looking gorgeous. Some of them are covering another. They've got to get through, like, another month or so. Um, although before then, we'll be able to harden them off probably starting in two weeks or so. So we just got to, we just got to keep them alive and happy until then. This is the bottom row on this shelving unit, and there's all sorts of craziness happening down here. Um, the problem I'm having with these lights is um, because I have them attached from the top from the chain, I can only get them to go so high. So um, I'm running out of vertical space. When I watered these today, I just realized how like they're poking over the top, how tall these peppers are here. I mean, they look beautiful, but they need more room under these lights. So I'm going to have to think about that because they're not ready to go outside yet. It's still too cold. This is a corbachi pepper. I didn't grow this kind last year. I'm excited about it. And then I have, let's see. Oh, well, that's not, oh, there's another kibachi there. Okay. And then this one here, oh, that's another eggplant. This one's kind of a mix of things. And this is actually love in a puff. That is flowering, which I cannot <laughs> believe. It's, it's a vining plant. It's said to start like eight to 10 weeks early. And so I started it probably around eight weeks before our last frost. And it's already like vining out everywhere. Um, so... <laughs> Hopefully it'll survive here. That's kind of my goal right now. Just keep everything alive. It's kind of invading over here too. I'm going to remove that from that pepper. So this tray is, I think, all peppers. I'm growing three different kinds. So there was the corbaccio over there. This is King of the North. Um, and here is, that's another King of the North. Let's see if I can find, I think this might be the other kind over here. And this is a lilac bell pepper here. So there's those. There's actually one more kind of pepper my son got in a kit, I got him some just, um, what are they called? Carnival peppers, I guess. So he planted them in his, in the, that pot there. Um, so that's what those are. Those are all looking really good. Um, I just kind of wish I could move the light up. So I will be working on a solution for that. On to this metal shelf. So this is the top here. Um, this is, this is a mix of different uh, mostly flowers and some herbs. So there's marshmallow over here. There's lavender, which is looking beautiful. Um, lavender is hard to grow from seeds, so I'm really pleased with this. Of course, I can't put mine directly in the ground, so I'm going to need to get a pot for it because we just have such heavy clay soil and we're colder. 
And so I want to be able to give it a pot with good soil and drainage because it doesn't like being super wet and be able to pull it in during the winter to hopefully overwinter it. So I'm gonna have to get that. So in the back behind the lavender, you'll see there's um, basically three cells of soil there that have lavender puff seeds that never germinated. I'm giving them a little longer. They're probably not going to germinate at this point. Um, the other three are the ones you saw in cotton. And then we've got French thyme here. My German thyme is actually already hardening off outside. Lamb's ears and comfrey in the back. The comfrey probably needs to be repotted. Um, let's see. Um, this is blue balloon flower. And then behind it is butterfly weed. And that was on the side before, which is why it's leaning. So I moved it to the middle when I watered this morning. Cardinal flower with milkweed behind it. That's a swamp milkweed. Um, let's see, hyssop, this is hyssop official, officinalis. I also have anise hyssop, which is a different plant. Um, and then behind that, wild bergamot, which I'm very excited about. Moving over, we've got some larkspur that hasn't quite, well, it's just starting to sprout actually. Eh, there's a little bit, little one. It was planted later than a lot of these. Um, most of these are actually um, at least a month, six weeks old now. Um, but over here, these are only maybe a week and, uh, the larkspur is taking a little while. And then we've got, let's see, stock, two zinnias here in front is lily put purple in back is luminosa, which is like a pink. There's a lot more, um, zinnias elsewhere. And then on this side here, we've got three things of phlox. Um, there's, uh, Leopoldi in this one here and the other two are cherry caramel and then a black eyed Susan vine in the back. This tray is a lot of basils. If you watched my um, seeds that I'm, my seed video for my potager kitchen garden, um, then you'll see I have a lot of basils. And this is, this is them. Um, and I can start more direct sowed, but I wanted to give them a head start. So we've got um, the Greek dwarf, the cinnamon behind them is blue spice, lime, lemon behind them is, oh, just a purple basil. Um, I think it has a longer name, but it's just what I wrote in there. Um, we've got Thai sweet and Persian in the front and behind them. We've got Emily and large leaf back there. Um, and then oh, some non basil things in here as well. So we've got catnip and cilantro, which so far is growing great. Lemon balm in the back and oregano. So more herbs. Um, there's two seed trays of Genovese. And then this is actually just a flower. This is, um, I don't know if it's pronounced Celosia or Chelosia, but it's um, probably Celosia. This is the pink champagne Celosia from um, Florette, which is like a really pretty um, mix of different shaped Celosias in like a champagne-y color. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna turn this around. Okay, I just wanted to turn that around so we could see the labels. Um, I don't always pay attention when I put them back as to where the labels are. When I sewed the lettuce outside, I sewed a couple in here um, as well, just as a backup really. Um, so I haven't really seen anything come up out there yet. If I continue not to see that, I'll start hardening these off soon and then stick them outside. Um, and if not, I'll just stick them outside in another place. Behind them I have cucamelons. Then we have some flowers um, in the front here is Salvia Blue Monday. Behind that is Gomfrena Strawberry Fields. Some Rudbeckia, some Black Eyed and Brown Eyed Susan. Those seeds were both that I used were both pretty old. So germination is not great, but I've got some, so that's fine. And then some more Snapdragons here. Um, these are mostly Black prints. The one in the back corner there is Lion's Mouth, which is the smaller one, but these ones are like a dark purple color, which um, some are for my son's garden. And then I also, I also started some for myself. Aww. This is the last shelf of seedlings to go through. And this tray here is actually all zinnias. So we've got some queen limes, red blush and Aww. orange, Zinderella lilac, Oklahoma Aww. ivory, and a unicorn Aww. mix. Um, so some of these are from Flora and some from Baker Creek. So those are all coming up nicely. And then over here, we've got a bunch of mostly flowers and herbs, random things. Um, so we've got some calendula, which I'm excited about. That's looking good. Um, anise, hyssop, and marjoram. And then behind that is syrinth, which I think is also called honeywort, which looks so cool and it's supposed to be great for pollinators. My Iceland poppies, I started really early. Um, they don't look great. I think I'm gonna try potting them up and then try to start hardening them off because they're supposed to be pretty cold hardy, but then it said to, if you start them inside, start them early and put them all out after the last frost, but they're just, they're looking really sad. So I'm gonna try potting them up and I'm just 
I'm running out of space. So if they're cold tolerant, I'm going to try hardening them off and getting them outside. I think they'll just be happier. And then we have borage here, which is a really cool blue flower um, that pollinators love and you can actually eat the flower. So that's really cool. And then my daughters, um, some of these flowers are my daughters here. We've got the China Aster, uh, go to Tia behind that. And there's a, another Zinnia unicorn mix that's my daughter's. It's growing really, really well back there, actually. It's bigger than, than mine. Um, yeah. So those are all the plants I have inside. I do have two more lights that I'm going to hook up hopefully today um, so that they're ready so that we have more space to move things in and out. I do still have a few seeds to start still. My squash, pumpkin, zucchini, cucumbers, and cosmos are going to be started in a couple weeks. So I'm hoping we can um, clear some space, move some things, start hardening things off, um, hopefully get the things that are outside in the ground um, to clear up some trays. So there's some shuffling that's going to be done. Um, we're out about a week out from our average last frost. I'm keeping an eye on the weather. Um, I'm also trying planting by the moon. So that means that they're not all going in that exact week anyway. Um, and obviously, well, obviously it's important for them to go in later rather than sooner. So I got to pick that up for her. Let's go outside and I'll show you the ones that I'm hardening off right now. So I just put them out in my front walkway here. We've been having a lot of clouds, which is fine. Um, they did have some sun this morning, so I'm keeping an eye on them, especially in the sun. Um, let me go through what I've got here. Um, so the labels are all facing the other way, but um, okay. These are all brassicas here. So we've got on the left, there's cauliflower and then broccoli, and then a whole bunch of different kinds of cabbage. The ones on the right didn't have a great germination rate, so I actually ended up reseeding a few of them. So that's why some of them are smaller, um, but I wanted to start hardening them off and they seem to be doing okay. Um, then I've got a whole lot of onions here um, that are so much happier being outside than they were inside. Um, there's red, uh, I think I just put red onion. Um, I don't remember what variety. Oh, but. Um, Al Alsa Craig and Dakota Tears. Um, after that, I've got a tray full of different kinds of pansies and violets. Um, there's, let's see, a majestic giant sherry mix. Um, that's all the way on the left. Then there's nature antique mix after that. Gem pink, uh, lavender pansy, tiger's eyes violet, heart seas, and black king pansies. Um, I did kill some of the tigers. I think I didn't water them enough, um, but everything else is doing okay. And I do still have a lot of those. I chose not to thin them out. So we'll just see how that goes. I'm hoping they'll be okay. This, this sad, somewhat sad looking tray is actually my greens um, that I've been eating. So I decided to harden them off and leave them outside. One, because I don't have a lot of room in the house. And two, this way I can um, maybe plant some of them out in the garden or in my window boxes. Um, and let them grow more there. They've been somewhat decimated by me, but yeah, it, they, they're just, I think their roots are out of space and they're just not happy really in the tray anymore. So I'm hoping to get them out into the garden in the next few weeks. Just got to keep them alive until then. All right. This last tray here has leeks on the right. You can't see the, you can't see the labels, but those are all the same type of leek. Um, and I can't remember what kind that is. Then we've got some kales, um, blue scotch, Nero di Toscana, which is dinosaur kale. Technically it's called Nero di, di, di Toscana cabbage, I believe. Um, Russian red, dazzling blue, and then scarlet. And then I've got some German thyme in the back and some Swiss chard in front of that. So those have just been out for a few days, so they'll come in earlier than everything else. Um, most of everything else at this point, it's been about a week I've been putting them out for different lengths of time. And um, so I'm kind of just leaving them out all day and pulling them in at night now. I'm not ready to leave them out at night. It's still getting pretty chilly. It's still dropping below freezing this week. Um, so, I mean, they'd probably be fine. These are all cold, hardy plants, um, but I'm just... I'm babying them still a bit right now. Those are my seedlings. They're happy to meet you. And uh, hopefully I can keep them doing well and alive over the next few weeks yeah. until I can get everything in the garden. And I'm hoping in a couple weeks I'll have some more stuff out hey. there. Oh, hello. And I can do a potager garden tour. 
Um, in the meantime, I have a lot of work to do, not only with these seedlings, but a lot of stuff going on outside. So I'll be working in the garden, in the orchard, um, kind of waking stuff up for spring. Um, and in the berry garden, putting it together, some of my berries are going to ship next week. So, ooh, and by next week, I mean in a few days. So, <laughs> so I got to get on that. And um, yeah, I'll be busy here. I hope you're staying busy there gardening too, friends. Until next time, happy gardening. You say bye-bye? Bye-bye, you wave?